Hi, Ross here, your expert on all things moving. Chances are you're looking for a moving company or you're planning to move. But some people try to save their own money and do the move themselves. So here we are with another fun and important episode about 10 steps for do-it-yourself move. Let's go. Step one, do the plan. Make sure that it has all the moving milestone and all the organizing tips in it. Remember, it is very, very important to finish packing at least one or two days before your moving day. For some people, packing is a very long and exhaustive process. Step number two, sort and organize through your things. It is very essential and important to have everything packed in specific categories. Make sure that you put aside the fragile items, put aside your silverware, put aside just your clothes and things that need specific care and handling. Step number three, start selling the things that you don't need early, before the moving date, weeks before the moving date. Usually a garage sale or a yard sale is a really good option to go with this, but if you have no garage or no place to do the yard sale, just post it online, but make sure to do this long before you start packing. Step number four, choose your packing materials. Right after you organized and sorted through everything, it is time to get your packing materials ready. There are a couple of options to go about this. Your office supplies local store might have those. Some grocery stores might have empty boxes that you can utilize. Make sure to speak with the manager of your local store about it or you can just buy them at Lowe's, Home Depot, or any of those big franchise stores. Don't forget about tape, bubble wrap, and any packing materials that you might need additionally. And remember, tape dispenser is a very useful tip. It's gonna save you your frustration, your time, and your teeth too. Moving tip. Tip number five, label your boxes by rooms. For simplicity and quick organization, labeling your boxes by whether they're from kitchen, living room or bedroom will really come in hand. Make sure that you label those as well as labeling fragile items and items that need specific handling. Step number six, make sure you do a picture or a video of how your electronics are standing in your house and where all the wires go out and go into. It will really save you a lot of time when setting up that flat screen TV or sound system of yours at your new place. Tip number seven, use furniture sliders and dollies. To minimize any risk when moving heavy furniture by yourself, especially when it's just two or three of you moving the whole apartment, make sure to utilize furniture sliders, moving dollies, and any moving accessories that you can get your hands on. Remember, if your back is hurting or you're feeling unwell, stop immediately. Step number eight, eat healthy food stay hydrated and sleep well. A lot of people underestimate the importance of these things. Some people might think that it doesn't even deserve a step here, but remember it is very important to stay in good mood, stay hydrated and stay energized during the whole moving day of yours. It will really help you out and uplift the mood of everyone who's around helping you. Moving tip. Step number nine, create a team and act together. It is very important to find somebody who can help you with your move during the moving day. It can start from your son making pictures of the things you would like to sell on either eBay or Facebook Marketplace. And it can end with your grandmother baking cookies for everybody on the day off. And finally, step number 10, do a final walkthrough of your house and keep an eye on anything you must have forgotten. It is very common in moving experiences to forget something that turns out to be very valuable and important and only turns out months or even years after. So make sure to do this final step and good luck with your DIY move. Moving tips.